I got to say, uh, I'm glad you guys have got energy because I'm a little drained. Uh, you see, Pope Francis left just a few days ago, and I'm still coming down from it. I never actually got to see the man, but I inhaled a lot of secondhand incense. I got a contact blessing. <laughs> but now, the Pope has returned to Rome, and I got to say, I miss him. I don't, you know, at least I'll always have uh, these souvenirs. I got these, uh, got these Pope Francis buttons. I got these cool things. I got these buttons. I got the Pope Francis bookmark. Don't know how I'm supposed to get that into my Kindle. And um, I got this. this. is a real thing. I got uh, my Pope Francis plush toy. I think, personally, I think this is kind of sacrilegious, but the dog loves it. <laughs> anyway, these are all, these are all better souvenirs of the Pope than what this guy got. Pennsylvania Democratic Congressman Bob Brady decided he wanted a unique memento of the papal visit. After the Pope had finished his speech to Congress, Brady helped himself to that very glass of water that the pontiff had been sipping from as he made his address. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Art thou serious? You stole the Pope's used drinking glass? Congressman Brady, uh, here's the thing. It won't give you superpowers, all right? It's not like getting bitten by a radioactive pope. That's this guy. Now, but maybe I don't... I, I, maybe I shouldn't judge him for breaking the seventh and tenth commandments literally behind the pope's back. I'm sure he had a good reason for this misappropriation. Jim. Brady, who has said he believes the water in the glass is holy, shared some with his family and staffers in his office. He intends to sprinkle the rest on his grandchildren. Yes. He's going to sprinkle his grandkids with papal backwash. I'm sure they'll receive a blessing or at least conjunctivitis. Now, like me, you might be saying, hey, just because the Pope touched the glass doesn't make it holy water. But we aren't Bob Brady because the congressman said, I'm considering it as holy water. I'm not checking with anybody. I don't want to know. <laughs> Doesn't want to know. Brady is using Thomas Aquinas' theological argument of <laughs> and to make sure he's not dowsing his grandkids with just any stolen old man spittle. <laughs> Congressman Brady is giving the glass to Philadelphia police to dust it for fingerprints to prove its authenticity. Because, you know, I'm sure the cops in Philly have the Pope's prints on file. <laughs> After all, he's pretty easy to pick out of a lineup. <laughs> number two, number two, please step forward and celebrate the Latin Mass. <laughs> and it turns out this isn't the first time that Representative Brady has copped a cup. He's done it before when he swiped President Obama's glass after his inauguration in 2009. Okay. This is bordering on a fetish now. <laughs> and by the way, do not Google one congressman, two cups. And <laughs> for God's sake, do not sprinkle that on anyone. <laughs> but as long as you're in the market, congressman, you missed a few choice pope related items. For instance, <clears throat> could I interest you in this toilet seat? <laughs> from Madison Square Garden, which the Pope never touched, but was undoubtedly touched by the butt of someone who saw the Pope. <laughs> Just have your friends in the Philly police force dust it for ass prints. <laughs> and I'm sure we all saw the beautiful moment when the Pope stopped his motorcade to kiss and bless a baby dressed up as the Pope. <laughs> and I just want to take this moment to say, someone better put that baby under lock and key, because this guy is a sick twist. <laughs>